Hello friends, I'm Parways and this is our 10th video in uh, PyQt5 and Qt Designer uh, making rich text editor. Um, in the last video we have covered uh, font dialog and also uh, color dialog. Also in a style we have covered bold, italic, underline. Uh, in this video we are going to uh, work on our left, center, right, justify and also uh, in our time and edit. Okay. Uh, for this, I'm going to uh, open your text editor window and define a new method in here. Uh, def align left. This, these uh, methods are uh, simple. Uh, self dot text edit dot uh, set alignment. Make it Qt dot align left. <coughs> And one thing you need for Qt, you should uh, import this. I have imported in here uh, from pyqt5.qt core, import Qt. Okay. Uh, now, this was for align left, for align center. We can simply write self.textedit dot set alignment to qt dot align center and for our this align right we can simply write self dot text edit dot set alignment to qt dot align right like this and also we have uh, the last one for this and uh, justify def uh, justify for this you can simply write self dot text edit dot set alignment to qt dot justify align justify align justify okay uh, now we are going to connect these uh, cell dot action left dot triggered dot connect cell dot align left another one is for the center cell dot action center dot triggered dot connect self dot align center another one is uh, for align right self dot action right dot triggered dot connect self dot align Mm, right. Oh, sorry. Dot align right. Yeah, this is align right. And the last one, self dot action uh, justify dot triggered dot connect cell dot uh, justify okay now we are going to run this we have uh, our application let me write something and uh, make it center you can see let me make it bigger we have uh, our text in the center and uh, make it uh, right now the text is in the right you can bring it back to the left. Now it's in the left. You can mm, center. And also you can make it justify. Okay. This was our this section. Now we are going to work our time and date. This is simple. You can just uh, and in here we are going to define uh, some methods. Uh, the first one is for our show time. 
the show time uh, make a time variable u time uh, let me import this q time q time and we are going to get the current time and after that we are we want to set our this time to in our text state dot set text dot set text uh, time convert this to string and make it the default local long time dot default local long and date sorry like this okay uh, this is for our time and also we are going to work on our show date I'm going to define a new method define show date Dit. Also, you need to import uh, QDIT in here like this. Okay, in this section, we are going to make a QDIT. Dot get dit. As, uh, no, we need current dot dot get q dot dot get oh dot current dot sorry current dot and we are going to set this cell dot text dot set text dot dot to string and Qt, qt dot default local long dot. Okay. After that, we are going to set. Uh, we are going to connect these cell dot action time dot triggered dot connect cell dot show time. And another one was self dot action dot triggered dot connect self dot show date like this. Okay. Uh, now I'm going to run this. And if I click on time, you can see now we have time. And if I click on that, now you can see we have that March 20, 2018. Uh, for the time, we have time. Uh, thank you guys. If you have any question, please let me know. And for the further videos, don't forget to subscribe my channel.